Here show. I have changed the name and rebranded today, June 1st, 2023. Hopefully you can see me. This is the Flip Bigger Show where I teach you how to flip houses for bigger profits. Maybe that'll be my logo. I don't know. So yesterday I spoke about the best list. I think what is the best list? And that is tax delinquent list. And I spoke about why you can see yesterday's video. Today I'm going to talk about the second best list. And what I really didn't speak about yesterday was that the reason, one of the reasons why tax link list and today's list is, is um, the best two lists that I think of is because most people do not use them, right? Most people are going to go on on a service like Prop Streaming, they're going to and they're going to download um, high equity, or they're going to download something along those lines, easy, either easy stuff, right? High equity, uh, pre foreclosure, that kind of thing. Um, but tax delinquent as we discussed yesterday, I think is the best because it, it also indicates something about equity because if it's taxes aren't being paid, it usually means there is no first lien mortgage. And today's list is the code violation list. So what a code violation is, is when uh, you, you get on that list when you don't do something that the municipality requires you to do. So you may not be cutting your grass, your grass is too high. Uh, maybe if you're in a cold weather area like where I am, and you, didn't, you didn't shovel the snow. It very often can indicate vacancy but it can also be just that your house is a piece of crap and there's garbage all over the place or there's cars with no license plates. They very It very often indicates either a lack of vacancy or someone who's not taking care of the property and someone who's got a municipality may be breathing down their neck to clean it up and do better. So that is a good, good list. It's also hard to get in certain places. In some places, it's easier to get. Um, but you, the way to get it really, the first thing to do is to call your local building department and say, hey, do you have a, you, get, you offer a code violation list? They may charge you a small fee. They may give it to you for free. They may say you have to come in and get it or we'll download it on a CD or whatever the hell they'll do. They may give it to you in, in PDF form and you're going to have to have to have a VA uh, make it into, uh, put it into Excel so you can mail from it. They're, every single municipality is different. But I think it's a great list, especially when you combine it with other lists. So. As I said yesterday, a great combination is a tax delinquent list with vacancy. Code violation list with vacancy is also very good, right? It usually indicates that someone is not taking care of the house, and that's good. Now, uh, we're going to talk at some point about this uh, driving for dollars list, which um, is basically going around looking for properties that are in crappy condition. We can, I've spoken about it before. We're going to talk about it more. But I, I really believe that... Uh, Tax delinquent and code violation are really some of the best lists, are absolutely some of the best lists that you can market to because A, less competition in them. B, again, remember the harder the list is to get, the less people are going to be calling it. And B, of what they indicate, right? Tax delinquency usually indicates that there is not a first lien mortgage and that somebody can't afford to pay the taxes on the house. And a code violation means that either somebody can't afford to take care of the house or nobody's there taking care of the house. And the code violation list can lead to more work right the hairier deals where you have to find the heir the owners died for example that happens a lot um and ironically someone told me that it's not like the minute you get a code violation it's usually within a two years of getting a code violation that a house will be sold uh hopefully at a discount to an investor so you can go back a couple of years and look at code violations right just because someone doesn't have an open code violation but they had one two years ago that could indicate that this is a good prospect for you good lead for you to contact so um i hope this was helpful again i am rebranding into flip bigger and i am uh working with some coaching students now and i am looking to work with a few more um my students have had tremendous success i have to drag these uh, reviews out of them but they're going to give me some more reviews that i can post and i think that uh if you're interested in uh, flipping houses anywhere in the country, I can be a great, great uh, asset to you. Um, and uh, I think there's links below to my coaching page. So I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in all the ways I can help you, go to the links below. And uh, I really, really appreciate all the comments and questions that come. So keep the comments and questions coming. You can ask any question you have. It does not have to be about the video you're watching. Um, if it's if it's something that simple, I'll just reply with an answer. If it's something that I've covered recently, I'll send you a link to a video. And if it is something that I have never covered or I haven't covered in a long time, I will try to answer it um, with a brand new video. So thank you all for the likes. Please keep the likes coming up. Please uh, subscribe on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube um, and keep the comments coming. Thank you very, very much for the likes and thank you very, very much for watching.